all of a sudden looking up in the sky and trying to find where the ball is. Oda, the ball right to Breen, it's short, flips it in the foul territory, and a run is going to score for the Tigers. And the base runners move up in this scoring position. More defensive woes for Syracuse as Clemson leads 2-1. Trying to go up last. Home plate, even though they will be going. Clyde fires to home. The tag, not in time. A bang-bang play at the plate. And Clemson extends the early advantage as Vieira comes home to score. Be very beneficial and at least still being competitive against Clemson. A little bit of a check swing that bloops along the left field line fair and scores two more runs for Clemson. Sliding in safe is Brown. A four run second frame for the Tigers. On the ACC tournament later this month, they have to stay in the top 10 of the standings, which they currently are, to avoid that. Cagle puts it on the ground to Breen. Play for one at the plate, dropped by Alves. A productive out for the Tigers. A couple of veterans in the ACC going at it. Grounder towards the left side of the infield. Clyde makes a difficult throw. Not in time. Another one doesn't leave the infield, Sydney, but it does not matter. An RBI single for Alungaleo as Mackenzie Clark comes home, and it's 7-1 Clemson. You have a 7-1 lead. Rebecca Clyde's going to cut into that deficit as a run comes across the board for the Orange and Madison Knight moves up to second base. Gabby Lantier pinch running for Kelly Breen comes home. Clemson trying to pick up win number 25 on its season. And swings like that are going to help. In the left center field gap, Ariel scores. And standing up another runner touches home plate as well in Stewart. 8-2 Tigers. Moore pulls this one fair, dropping in the left, and it's not caught. Moore is safe, and one more run for Clemson. Them spiral into more, more multiple errors. That's just a well-hit baseball, and it's going to score another run for Clemson. Off the bat of one of the best outfielders in college softball, Mackenzie Clark limit that damage, that extra base damage. But Nowhere with another rip that trickles all the way to the track. One run scores. The other sent home and Kegel slides in safe. A double digit run lead and a two run double off the bat of Nowhere and the Tigers have six runs in this fifth inning alone. The number 17 team in the country. McCubbin's pitch. Popped up to the right side of the infield. Ball game. Clemson flexes its muscle. Scores six runs in both the second and the fifth innings. And wins in five frames. 13-2. to two. The Tigers knock off the Orange in game one of his three-game set. A big payoff pitch coming from De Pasquale. Just missed inside. Another RBI walk, this time issued to Long Alea. 1-1 one, one is roped through the right side. That'll score at least one. Nuller gets the wave home. The throw caught off. It goes to third. Tag is in time there from Rebecca Clyde. So Long Alea is gunned out, but it's a two RBI single from Lindsey Garcia. To Deep Asquelli and what she's doing right now on the mound. Trying to give her an extra second to see it out of the hand, and she ropes one down into center field. An RBI single for Mackenzie Clark. Makes it 5 nothing Tigers in the second. Go outside of her hand, the same spin, and it's up until just a few feet before the plate. This one is roped over the head of Moore at short. Wave around third for Knight. She scores standing, and Vanessa Flores has the first RBI of the day for Syracuse in the first. 1-0 is hammered high out towards center field. Hasso ranging back. She looks up, and that ball is gone. Straight into the netting above the center field wall. Lindsey Garcia puts a charge in one and puts the Tigers in front 7-1 in the third.
Let her team eat. Get ready for the next game. That's exactly what she wants to do. Bring that momentum over to game three. And she clocks one deep down the left field line. That ball is way gone. A team leading ninth home run of the season for Mackenzie Clark. Puts the Tigers in front. It's 10-1 Clemson here in the sixth. Clark with such an explosive turn on that inside pitch, and she does not miss you early and giving her team all the momentum heading into the last game of the series. Come back or right back up the middle, step on the bag, it's short from Maddie Moore, and that does it here in game one of two on Sunday in Syracuse. In this stretch of the schedule, trying to make that ACC tournament. Now it lifts one in the deep center field. It's going back towards the wall. Hasso leaps, and that one's gone. A two-run shot to get this game started. Julia Noller in the first inning gives the Tigers a 2-0 advantage. Runner, pinch hitter, and she's kind of that utility player that you need. Lines one on the ground to short. It gets booted away by Breen. One runs in. And the stop sign over at third, Johnson stays. And that's another RBI for Clemson. It's 3-0 to start this game here in the second. Ladder it up in the zone or throw an off speed. 2-2. Two -two. Moore rolls it over, but it gets by Breen over at short. And another run is across Maddie Moore. A two-out RBI base hit extends Clemson's lead 4-0 here in the top of the second. Steps in for Syracuse to start the bottom of the fourth. Then she swings on the first pitch, lifts one to right field. Lopez goes back, it's off her glove, and it's gone. Oh, what an unfortunate play in right field for Lopez, rather for uh, Johnson for Clemson. And Madison Knight gets the orange on the board here in the fourth. Johnson goes the other way. And it's dropped by Flores, so she goes to second for one. To home, the throw just late. And now Syracuse goes back to second. But Clemson gets a run to score. A lot of chaos here. Syracuse staying with it, though. And there's one away. Clemson goes up 5-1. Hey, with a single. Even though you're 1-4-3, taking a pitch right here. Again, Clemson taking the opportunity to score whatever way they can do if that's a walk to score another run, Clark will do so. Pretty confident she was gonna take that one, but now you're at three and one, a great hitting spot. And Vernie misses up and away. That's two walks for Vernie. Clemson has scored on both of them. What a performance on the day. It's not gonna show up in the stat sheet on the offensive side of things, but Angel Hasso has had herself a day as now Lopez lines out to right field, and this game is over.